welcome to our channel. I'm Div. I'm Jess Noir. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're launching a new series called Dance with Jess Nacho. It's a series of tutorials for our most popular choreos. So without further ado, let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. So the choreo we're going to be teaching today is Suzum Hiho Bandhu. If you haven't checked it out yet, click down below. All right, let's get started. Okay, so for the first move, we're going to start with our legs apart like this. Then you're going to take your right arm, put it out in front of you like this, and your left arm is just going to rest beside you. And then you're going to jump back to the right and then to the left and then bring your left foot forward. Okay, so from here, you're gonna do the sub gay step. So for that, you're just gonna take both of your hands, place it beside your forehead and just do a little turn like this with your wrist. And while you're doing this, you're also gonna be turning your hips in the same direction. So you kind of just turn and then take a little seat. Okay, so from here, you're gonna take your left foot back Raise your arms up above you and then rotate them over your head and bring them to your left. So from this position, you're just going to bring them out in front of you and pretend to hold on to something. And while you're doing that, with your right shoulder first, you're going to go in an upward movement, one, two, and then with your left shoulder, one, two. And as you're doing that, you also want to lean to either side. So to your right, one, two, and then to your left, one, two. And for the legs, all you're doing is just stepping out to either side. So step one, two, step one, two. So the next move, we're just going to be doing a little pull-up motion. So we're going to take our right hand, bring it forward, and pull it back. So while you're doing that, you're also going to take your body and jump up, just like that. From here, you're going to take your hand to your forehead and swing it up. While you're doing that, you're going to turn your body to the left, just like this. All right, for the next move, we're going to turn to the right and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna move your body first. So you're going to push your chest out and then lean back and sit down on your left leg. So push your chest out and lean back and sit on your left leg. While you're pushing your chest out, you're going to swoosh your hands to the left and then when you're sitting down, you're gonna swoosh them back to the right. So push out, sit out, push out, sit out. So now you're going to step forward with your left foot and bring your arms down and then using your right leg you're going to step out and lean on that leg. Now for the hands what you're going to do is an in and out movement. Using your right hand first you're going to push out and as your right hand comes forward your left hand comes back and then vice versa. And as you're doing that you're just leaning towards the right and as you're doing that you just want to make sure to add a little groove to your hands so starting again from your right hand we want to do one two three and back so when you bring your feet in make sure to also bring your arms up like this at chest level at the same time so you're gonna go in and your arms come in at the same time from here we're gonna do a little bit of the rowing your boat action to your left first so we're just going to go down our left side first with our right elbow sticking up we're going to go one two and then same thing with our right side one two and while you're doing that move you just want to add a little bit of shoulder shimmy to it so we're just going to go one two one two and for the legs they just stay together but all you want to do is just put your knees into it so just bend them a little as you're doing the move so one two three one two three for the next move, we're going to learn the legs first. So you're going to bring your right foot in front of your left foot like this. Then bring your left foot back. And then you bring your right foot back and your left foot forward. So you're going to try that again a little bit faster. So we're going to go right, left, right, left. And for your hands, we're just going to do kya parva. So as you bring your right foot out, you're going to go kya left flip them over left so you're going to bring your right foot forward and do a step and then we're going to continue doing the circle while stepping on the floor so it's going to look like step 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 and for your arms you're going to bring your right arm up all the way and your left arm is going to be pointing down with your index fingers pointing up like this and you're just going to continue doing the step step and then you switch your arms and continue step step so using your right leg you want to bend your knee inwards and take a step like this and then you're going to use your left leg to bring it together 
and then do the same thing, step out with your right, bring it together. We're gonna do that a little bit faster to show you what it's gonna look like. So right, left, right, left. And then for your arms, what you're gonna do is take your right arm and slowly point it from bottom to top as you're moving. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. And while you're here, you wanna take your left hand and just do a little hit. And as you're doing that, you also wanna make sure to step with your left foot at the same time. Hit. Okay, so from here, you're gonna face forward with your legs together again. And then for your arms, you're gonna bring your right arm up like this in front of you. And then using your left arm, you're just gonna place it below the elbow of your right arm and then pat your shoulder. So you're gonna go pat, and then switch your arms and pat your left shoulder and then swing your arms out behind you like this. For the legs, we're gonna go, we're gonna bend our knees and then we're gonna step with the right foot, step, step and open. So together, that's gonna look like this. Pat, pat, open. So for the next move, we're gonna jump to the right and step in with our left foot and then we're gonna jump to the left and step in with our right foot. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the legs first. So you jump to the right, step in with our left foot, and then jump to the left and step in with the right. So while you're doing that, you're gonna do a shimmy, like that, okay? So we're gonna do it together. We go right, shimmy, left, shimmy. Here, you're going to step out with your right leg, just like that, and then you're gonna swing your head to the right and swing it to the left. Okay, so we're gonna do that together. So we're gonna go out, out. And then you're going to let it go and then let it go. So while you're doing that, you're just gonna walk back, just like this. So out, out. So for this move, we're going to jump forward diagonally with our right leg and then with our left leg. Okay, so we're gonna jump up like this and then jump up like this. So for our arms, we're going to do sadge again, just like that, just like that. So together, it's going to look like this. So we go up, left up. So one thing to add here is a shimmy while you go up like this. Just going to add that extra touch of fun. So let's do it again together. So we go up. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do a downward tonka to the right, okay? So we're gonna go right, right, and then swing to the left, up and left, and then down again. And from there, we're gonna step in like this. So from here, we're gonna do a walk back while switching our feet. So using your right foot, you're gonna take a step back while popping your left knee out, and then your left foot back with your right knee popping out. So if we do that a little bit faster, it's gonna look like this. One, two. And as we're walking back with our arms, we're just gonna be doing a windmill. So with your right arm going forward first, together it's going to look like this. One, two. So after we do the windmill step, we're gonna do the bantu step. And for that, what we're gonna do is just join our hands together like this, and then swing our arms to the left shoulder and then to our right shoulder and we're gonna turn to the front as we do it. So it's gonna look like bun two. And for the legs, as we're touching each shoulder, we're just stepping in with the same foot. So it's gonna be left step in, right step in. So after the bun two step, we're gonna learn the sakatumhi step. So for the legs, you're just gonna bend your knees like this and then step inward with your right foot first, like so, and then do the same thing again with your left foot. And then you do the same, one, two. And if we do that a little bit faster, it's gonna look like one, two, three, four. You wanna make sure to keep your legs and knees quite close together. And then for your hands, you're just gonna pretend to hold on to an imaginary rope, a friendship, and you're just gonna switch your hands back and forth like this as you're holding on to that rope. So you wanna make sure that if my right fingers are facing forward first, then as I do the switch, my left fingers need to be facing forward um, at the switch. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. So together, that's going to look like this. One, two, three, four. After this, we're gonna just bring our hands up like this and just do good job. 
and bring our hands to eye level and then just look at either hand and move our neck in the same direction for Tum Hi Ding Jai He. And then we're gonna look forward and go Tum Hi Ding Tali four times. So if we do that together, it's gonna look like Tum Hi Ding Jai He, Tum Hi Ding Tali. From here, we're going to do a twist with our hip while rolling our hand around in the same direction that our hip is going. So we bring our left hand down like that and with our right hand and our hip, we go in and in. So now we're gonna bring our hands up to our chin like this, and then we're going to roll our hip from the left to the right twice. So we're gonna go one, two. So once you're here, you're going to do a quick tonka to the left and in. So we're gonna go out. So together, that's gonna look like one, two, out. From here, we're gonna do another step circle like we did earlier. So it's going to go like this, like one, two, three, four. But this time we're gonna put our hip into it. We're gonna do a tonka while we step. So we're gonna go out, 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 out. Okay? And while you're doing that, your hand is going to be on your forehead and left hand is going to be on your hip. And together it's gonna to look like this. So out, 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 out. Perfect. So from here, we're going to do a hop to the right and then a hop to the left. You're going to hop right like this and stick your left knee out and hop left like this and stick your right knee out. While you're doing that, your hands are gonna go out, out. Okay, let's do it together. So we go, out, out. So from here, we're gonna bring our hands and do this, and then we're gonna do a little switch up and down four times. One, two, three, four. And while we do that, we're just gonna pop our chest. So that's gonna look like one, two, three, four. From here, we're gonna do the subke step again to your right, like as if you're taking a seat and you just kinda lean down, and then you point to everyone. So together, that's gonna look like this. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so that, that was it. it, our first tutorial ever. Thank you so much for watching. We're so excited about these new series and we're so happy that we get to share them with you. We can't wait to hear what you think. So comment down below, let us know what tutorials you wanna see us doing next and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content for you. And also make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. You can find our links down below in the description. And we'll see you next time.